My name's Jackie and we have a son in year 11, a son in year 8 and last year our daughter Alex finished year 12. St Michael's is able to fulfil the needs of each of our three kids either academically or on a sporting level or on an emotional level and they have always felt supported with whatever their needs are. When we met graduates, so that, you know, young adults who had been at the school, we were so impressed time and time again with these well-rounded, um, outwardly focused, well-mannered um, kids that it really attracted us. And so many times the St Michael's kids were just delightful. And that's when we looked into it. Alex um, really thrived at St Michael's, picked very challenging subjects and was so supported by her teachers and peers. She also had a fabulous group of um, students in her class and her classes were small and that intimacy allowed her to really flourish and she ended up doing very well and, and was second ducks. The size of the school was great for Alex. She was able to, she's quite shy, but was able to really flourish and represent the school in sport and, and academia. And so I suppose the school was really able to provide Alex an environment to um, do everything, try everything and, and become the person she is today. Cozy the coast, where you start at Mount Kosciuszko and make your way to the coast through snow and rivers and all sorts of terrain, was a fantastic experience. She um, had a fabulous group of people, great OEG leaders, and the three weeks away from the family was the first time she'd been away that long, and it proved to her that she could, you know, survive and flourish in that in that way and yeah she she absolutely loved it and it's now become a compulsory activity for everyone in the family. I love the teachers they're um, a very diverse group they're really professional but approachable and I feel like I could talk to any of them if we needed to. The Navigator meetings, which I think we have periodically, are fantastic and we have one person who looks over, looks after both our kids and she knows what's going on. If there's any issue, I just ask her and she, she deals with it internally. And um, it's quite open. It's, you know, the, we, the kids do it with us and it, I, it's just a really way to stay connected and it, I think it works. The community at St Michael's is very diverse. It's drawn from a large catchment in Melbourne and um, I love that about it. There's all sorts of representation and I think St Michael's allows all those people to different backgrounds and different religions and um, to, to come together and just be together in one community. What I like about St Michael's the most is the, the whole person that they develop. So they are exposed to a number of um, academic subjects and they can be pushed in that direction they can do debating and all sorts of things on that level and compete with other students and also um, compete on in science competitions and math competitions if they want to do sports there's a whole lot of different sports to try and excel in and and get a high level of um, expertise from the school and then spiritually they are also encouraged to care for others, to look out for others, to look at 
their, their school grouping and then beyond. And there are so many opportunities for the kids to um, see their, how fortunate they are by being in a school like that. And I think the school really, really encourages the development of the whole person.